This tutorial will show you how you can create your own customized workflows using the custom tab in Image Pro Premiere. Image Pro Premiere is made up of a ribbon bar that includes a number of different image processing and analysis tasks that are organized in a tabbed structure. Now in addition to these tabs, which include a number of different features, Premiere also includes a custom tab. The custom tab is basically like a blank slate. It allows you to add your more frequently used groups to this tab so you can have easy access and you don't have to click around to find different tools that you may need to use. So let's say that you frequently want to filter an image, maybe uh, segment some objects on it, uh, measure the areas, and then save that image for publication. Well, let's show you how you can add those steps right to this custom tab so you have easy access. So all we need to do is first off find uh, the filter group and that is in the process tab. So here you can see we have a group here called filters and for us to be able to add that to the custom tab you need to right click on that group. The group is this box right here which is made up of a number of different buttons. Right click and choose add to custom tab and now you can see that that group has been added to the custom tab. Next thing we'll do is we'll go back to our count size menu and choose the segment group. Right click, add to custom tab again. Go back to count size, right click on this count group, add to custom tab, and now you see we're adding all of those groups to the custom tab. Now one thing to make note of is that the custom tab can accept groups but not individual buttons. So uh, let's say you only wanted to use this dark uh, segmentation to find a dark objects um, option in the segment group. Well you would still need to add that entire group to the custom ribbon. Now if you did just want to have access to an individual button and um, wanted to only have access to that you could right click on that button and choose to add it to the quick access toolbar. And you can see right up here the Quick Access Toolbar is this toolbar on top that displays all throughout the application. So the Quick Access Toolbar can be used to add individual buttons, whereas the Custom tab is for adding groups. So we have now our Filters group, Segment group, Count group, and last we want to be able to save images. So we'll right click on that Quick Save, add it to the Custom tab. And you can see also when we added that, it didn't remove it from the original tab. It's still there. It's basically just creating another pointer to those uh, frequently used tasks and um, duplicating them in your custom tab. So there you can see how easy it was. All we had to do was right click on those groups and now they were automatically added to that custom tab. So we can filter, find objects, count, and then save that image for publication. So let's say now we want to be able to customize that tab, maybe give it a, a name um, that's a little bit more relevant to us, or also change the location of that tab so it shows up first in the workspace. To do that, all we need to do is left click on the application icon up in the top left of Image Pro Premiere, choose Options, and now the Options dialog will open, which has a, a number of different settings that you can make adjustments to. But we'll go to the Display option here and you can see there's this ribbon tabs section so right now by default we're, say, we're showing the ribbon tab you can see that's checked well let's now check to have that custom tab displayed first so now that'll show up first in our list and let's say we wanted to give it our own name so we'll say my tab now we'll hit OK and now you can see that My Tab now shows up first in our list of tabbed options. And when you click around, come back, and My Tab displays first in the list. So why don't we give it a whirl and see how things work here. Go ahead and we'll open an image. We could apply a filter on that image if we wanted to. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Filter's been applied. Find all dark objects, count, and then save that image for publication, which basically created a snapshot of the image with all of the measurements then burned in. 
So now we have a quick, easy way to access only the tools that we need in ImagePro Premiere. We don't have to go clicking around and um, finding or, or trying to locate them in different tabs. So it's an easy way to customize your work and be able to access just the tools that you need. So we hope that that was useful. Please contact your Media Cybernetics representative or local reseller for any questions. Thank you.